everyone, my name is Emily Teacher, and today we're going to read The Talking Tree. We know that trees can't talk, but what if they could? They might have some interesting things to tell us. Imagine you're sitting under an apple tree. Then you hear it say something like this. So we know trees can't really talk, right? So this story is fiction or not real. I'm often asked if I like being a tree. That seems to me a silly question. I don't really have a choice, do I? Right now, I'm only about five feet tall. I'm still a sapling. When I'm fully grown, I'll be over 20 feet tall. Look at me, please. You see only half of me. My roots take up as much space under the ground as my branches do in the air. These roots help me a lot. They keep me anchored firmly. They need to be strong. I wouldn't want the wind to blow me over. My roots also give me water. Did you know that I get thirsty just like you do? My roots take water from the soil. The water travels up my trunk. Then it goes along each branch into every leaf. During hot, dry weather, I need lots of water, just as you do. Without enough water, my leaves turn brown. Then they fall to the ground. Every one of my leaves is very important. Each is like a little factory. First, my leaves take carbon dioxide, CO2, from the air. Then they mix it with water from my roots. This makes a sugary water. Sugar is food for trees, just as it is for people. It gives me energy to grow. This sugary water travels from the leaves to feed every part of me. My leaves also help you. The air that you breathe out has more carbon dioxide in it than the air you breathe in. Too much carbon dioxide in the air is bad for people. My leaves absorb carbon dioxide. They help keep the air in balance for you. In the early spring, you will see many buds starting to grow all over me. Each one will turn into a pink or white flower. Inside these flowers, you'll see a yellow powder. This is called pollen. Bees fly from flower to flower and collect it from me or take it from me. Then they take it back to their hive. There they use it to feed their young. Something else happens when bees collect pollen. During their collection, some of the pollen from one flower brushes against the next one. Ooh, brushes. Let's find out, is this our noun or verb? So we see one flower brushes against the next one. So our flower is doing something. So this brushes is a verb. When this happens, an apple will start to grow from that flower. There are many different kinds of apple trees. I'm called a Macintosh. My apples will turn red when they're ripe. Other kinds of apples are yellow or even green when they're ripe. And here, ripe means ready to eat. In the center of each apple, there are little black seeds. You might eat one of my apples and throw the core on the ground. Then some of the seeds could grow up to be apple trees just like me. Thanks for listening, everybody. We have links related to each story. So if you'd like the link for this video, you can take a look in the description below.